the items you're about to see can be purchased on my eBay website at Whitney Labrie Events. Happy Wednesday, everybody, and welcome to the first haul of the new year. And I thought it would be really fun today if we started off with some Valentine's Day goodies. I know you're probably already seeing Valentine's Day stuff in the store. I certainly am, and Easter for that matter. But anyway, so if you guys are working on your Valentine's Day miniature projects, here's some fun stuff for you to maybe include in that. So the first thing I have is this adorable Valentine's Day quilt here. It's got four different little hearts in it. And overall, this is in really great shape. No issues or anything like that. All right, I've got this really nice bag of goodies here. So this is just a small little tiny rug here. It's only about two inches by two inches. It'd be a fun kitchen rug or something like that. And then I've got one of these vintage heart tins here. And of course I have to open it to see if there's any additional treasures inside, but there are not. I used to love these little tins when I was a kid. Okay, so here we have some little heart cookies and it looks like they've seen better days. And then this is a really pretty handmade vintage Valentine's Day ornament. It looks like this might be really fun on a wall. It has a vintage print inside and then some heart or some roses that have been attached also. This is a handmade box of chocolates here. It has an initial on the back of it. It says, I think it's AJ 1979. It's not in perfect condition, but it's definitely in great condition for the time that it was made. But also these chocolates are really beautiful, really, really nicely made little chocolates. Here we have some paper Valentine's Day cards. And then this is a little tiny box or a little, it's actually, it almost looks like a Santa bag of Valentine's Day candies. Very cute little item there. I think those are also made out of some sort of polymer clay. This is a Valentine's Day card and it's made to look like a vintage pop-up card. And then here we just have a Valentine's Day bead or something like that. It could definitely be used as a vase. This is a copper heart right here, and it has these little tiny hooks on it. I'm not sure if this was necessarily a dollhouse item, but it would certainly be cute holding maybe some little keys or like the key to my heart or something like that. And then we have a craft heart here that's made of wood. And then this is super cute. This is one of those candy tubes. And this one, of course, is a Valentine's Day theme. Here we have a handful of more Valentine's Day stuff. I've got a couple red hearts here. These are actually metal. It's hard to tell in the, in the video, but they're made of metal. And then here's another one of those copper hearts with little hooks. I think this one is missing one hook. Then we've got just a couple of little vintage paper cupids here. And then this is the box top to like a candy box, but there's no base. So maybe I'll come across that. There's another vintage paper cupid. This is just like a little necklace charm, a little Valentine's Day necklace charm in metal. It doesn't open. We've got a little resin bear here with a little heart on it. Here we have a tiny little cup and saucer with some red hearts. Super cute. This is a pretty piece here. This would be great in a frame on a wall. Someone has embroidered a little scene here where it's a gentleman giving flowers over to a, a lady. Very cute. And then this is a handmade piece as well. This is just like a little heart shaped plant stand in pink. Here we have some more Valentine's Day cards that can just easily be cut out and folded. You could also put those on some cardstock to make them a little thicker and then cut them out that way. These are fun. These are some vintage Westrom accessories here, which I always love coming across those, but these are actually glass Valentine's Day ornaments here. Okay, I've got a little heart-shaped pink pillow. And we've got a heart-shaped doily and then a little heart-shaped crocheted heart here. And then what do we have inside this baggie? Okay, these are cool. These are all Valentine's Day cards. Now, I would say they're a little bit bigger than a 12 scale. I would say this might be like a six scale, a play scale, you know, Barbie type. But what's really neat is that they have have individual messages written on the back, which is super cute. And I think those are all handwritten. And then we've got a couple little hearts here and a little resin envelope that doesn't open but those cards are really neat and they are a lot of vintage prints on the front so someone maybe cut those out of the back of a magazine or something but anyway they're pretty cool pretty original and then here is just a, vil a valentine's day bear a little cute resin bear here wearing some valentine's day overalls has a little lamb a watering pill so very cute 
just a nice little Valentine's accessory. Okay, I've got a, another sheet of Valentine's Day cookies here. And then just these little red Valentine's Day hearts here. They're made out of wood and then a little basket. Okay, I've got a nice marriage certificate here. And here is a box, a paper box that someone made. It looks like they put in a little, I don't know, some sort of package that maybe that they were making. Hopefully I'll find the lid. And then here's just a basket here with some fake floral in it. Really, it looks more like Christmas floral. And then this is another uh, chocolate box lid, but no, no chocolate base, no base to that. So a couple of box lids, but no bases. And then I've got a whole bunch of little cute Valentine's Day items in here. So I've got a little flocked teddy bear with a heart. And then these are are actually Hallmark items, these little tiny cuties here. They're all plastic. I think they're from 1982. They've got a cat, a couple bears, little raccoon. Anyway, very cute little Hallmark items. Okay, I found the lid to that box. That's nice. And it is like a handmade paper box. Another little Valentine's Day chocolate box lid. Again, no base. Um, oh, I did find the base to one of the chocolate boxes. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Here is a nice little, let's see, it looks like someone put a sticker on the bottom to hold it in place, but it's like a nice Valentine's Day package. And then another doily, it's got a sticker on it, and then we've got a Valentine's Day floral here with a butterfly. Okay, lots more goodies. We've got a little heart-shaped cake that says, I love you. It is a handmade one, it looks like, made of wood. We've got another basket here. This one has like yarn and stuff in it. A little, uh, this looks like a base to something, a broken piece. This is another Hallmark item here. It goes with that other set of little figures. We've got a little gift bag here, a card. This is a box of chocolates that does not open, but it's a nice shape. It's in good condition. And then here's another heart-shaped cake with a rose on it. Also in nice condition. The doily could probably be changed out, but it's not horrible. All right, so that's what I've got for Valentine's Day stuff. So let's go ahead and open another box. This box, though, will not be Valentine's. Well, I mean, it could potentially have something in there that's Valentine's, but it's not specifically Valentine's. So let's see what's inside. So these look like traditional Japanese clothing here. It looks like we have like a kimono maybe and also the male version of that, which I think is called a, I'm probably going to slaughter it if I can even remember the right term. I believe it's called a hakama, hakama, anyway. So they look like they're made out of paper and they're actually really pretty great coloring and obviously you can see that they're new in the packaging the next item here is this white metal bed that looks like wicker it does have some damage here at the base of it which for some reason i accidentally obviously moved my camera stand and you can't see that so i'm going to try to put a picture of it in the corner if i can anyway there's definitely some damage to the bed itself at the base uh, nothing that really, I mean, you can glue some of this and I think that it will be fine. Here we have a handmade wood shop or garage type of a table here. It has an artist signature on the base, so it looks like it was intentionally made to look weathered and worn like a workshop bench, something like that. So actually it's in good shape overall. It does have a little chip on one corner. Again, although I don't think that part was intentional, I think that it actually adds to the piece itself. Here's one of those vintage straw houses here. This one, actually, it has two compartments. The first compartment has some goop or something inside of it, and then the second compartment actually is okay, but the house itself is really not in that great of condition. It's for sure seen better days. Here's another straw house here. This one is complete. The interior is in good shape. Just a little dirty, needs a little dusting. And then here's another base to a house, but this one is actually missing the roof to it. So it might be somewhere in this box, I'm not sure. Now this bed here is actually a Bezpak bed. It's called a half tester and it is in really nice shape. Uh, unfortunately, someone added this quilt, this like country quilt look to which yuck. I mean, I like country and I like Bezpak. This is an Asian themed bed though. The feet are curved in and they did a good job with it. I mean, it's not horrible, but it just doesn't go together. You know what I'm saying? It's like you've got two totally different styles here. Like, I feel like this should really have more like a silk 
a silk bedding on it and also it's been glued down so whoever gets a hold of this bed will need to go ahead and delicately take this apart and put the right kind of bedding on it to really give this bed the wow factor that it deserves now here's a traditional style table this is vintage sonia messer here and so it's got a little bit of a antique sheen on it as some of that stuff gets it's got a little mini hold on it that just needs to be removed, but the table itself is actually in really beautiful condition. And I'm not really seeing any repairs that have been done on it, so I'm happy about that. Here's a room divider, and this one is beautiful. It is missing two little, uh, the hinges are there, but the center portion of the hinge, whatever that piece is called, it's missing two of them, so an easy fix. But the piece itself is wooden, and then it has the mother of pearl inside it, the inlay. And this is the real deal. This is actually a beautiful, beautiful piece here. Pretty impressive. Here we have a curtain set. It's obviously been in this box for a while. It's a little misshapen. Probably just could use, um, you know, a little bit of misting uh, from a water bottle. Probably reshape that very easily. First, the dusting, though. I would say dusting first. <laughs> So here we've got some handmade wicker pieces here, coupled chairs. I lo really love the way that these chairs look, this wicker. When it's like this and it's the real deal and not the metal stuff that we see a lot of, they actually just look like big old pieces of shredded wheat, really. <laughs> these are in actually very good sh condition. They have little handmade cushions that are connected to them. Here's some more wicker pieces here. This is a little table, but it's missing the top. And then this other piece is also a handmade piece, but it has a wooden top. So, you know, it's in good shape. It has some, again, like a mini hold or museum wax type of residue on the top from, I'm sure it had some cute little items on it at one time in the store, displayed in the store. Another wicker item here. This is a plant stand. It's got a little, little bit of green on the inside from, probably had some, fake plants glued down inside there. Love, love this wicker day bed. Oh my gosh, it's it's ginormous, first of all. I mean, you could put your uh, whole family and maybe your dogs and your cat on there. The back side of it has kind of been bent in a little bit. That's pretty much an easy fix, really, because it's not broken. It's just kind of bent in. But the top is also in good shape. The ruffle is in nice shape, aside from that being bent in a little bit. And then you can see the maker here on it. It's P. Taylor is the artist signature and actually that is Peggy Taylor and she's known for a lot of handmade wicker items so this is cool to come across typically her stuff you know is is from the 80s so this piece has been around for a little bit of time so you know I don't know how long it's been in this box but it's time to get it out dust it off and get it to the right home here's a small table as well a nice little looks almost like a bamboo table painted in white it is also missing the top i'm hoping maybe i'll come across that i've got a box of different stuff like that so if i don't find it in here maybe i'll find it in that box Here is a fantastic merchandise chair. I love this chair. It's very traditional in its form, but it's also really wide, which I have, I mean, sometimes if I do have wider chairs and fantastic merchandise, but this seems extra wide for some reason. And it has a really nice walnut finish on it too. This is a beautifully made chair, real traditional looking, has kind of like a fiddleback design to it. It feels very handmade, but very well, like an artisan put this together. Even the seat cushion is, is well done. Here's a Bezpak end table here, and I'm, I'm saddened, of course, because someone glued these pieces to the top instead of just using like a, you know, museum putty or something like that. We'll see about trying to get that off. The other issue is it actually is 
missing a tiny little finial on there also. Actually, the finial portion is not that big of a deal because really it's hard to notice, but the glue on the top might, might be a little bit bigger issue. This is a reminiscence swivel stool and it is missing two of the feet, two of the legs on the swivel. The good news is that these have come off very clean so they'll be easily glued back on. Uh, the swivel though is a little crooked and that is actually from the manufacturer. Like the screw portion is crooked so. All right this stand right here is a Gary Larson handmade stand. It is gorgeous. It is really hard to tell you how beautiful this piece is in this video but this is type of item this is type of item that when you hold it you can just tell immediately the quality the way the drawer glides out no glue issues and of course beautifully stained here's another asian themed this is not a miniature per se it's just a cute little box and of course you could do turn that into a foot chest or an attic chest and fill it with a whole bunch of little miniatures and it would work out beautifully here is a nice stone step. Got some issues. It's got some cracking in the plaster in the back. I think this is actually an easy fix. These are not that expensive though, but you could add a little bit of clay or a little plaster to that, let it dry, and then paint it no biggie. Here's a little wicker table here. That looks like somebody handmade this and the legs look like they might be toothpicks. I'm just kind of trying to check through the box here because again, this is just going to be like the last few boxes. It's like a little bit of furniture on the top and then the base of the box is just filled with tons of accessories and in linen. And in this case, it looks like I've got some clothing and stuff down in here also, some dollhouse clothing. So I'll go ahead and organize it out. Okay, so first of all, a lot of pillows, a lot of pillows, and some good good stuff. But we've got we've got a combination of conditions here. So we've got almost like really well made artisan pillows. We've got some that are weighted like sand weighted pillows. We have some that need to be tossed out because they're either in too bad of condition or the maker of them just did a poor job. But a lot of really fun colors and patterns. You know, some are super decorative. Others too actually go with uh, collections that I I show case a few weeks back like this purple one with the yellow flower i have its partners so now that i have these i can go ahead and put them on on the website Okay, here's more pillows too, but these are more like bed pillows, definitely bedroom pillows. We've got a couple of vintage ones here. We've got some newer ones. Again, I've got handmade ones, some that probably should just be tossed. I think this is not a pillow. I think this is actually a vintage sachet for like your, your actual real dresser. And then here's a handmade uh, pillow here, but it's like cool, like a body pillow. And then this one is, you know, a bigger pillow too. I don't know if it's actually dollhouse or doll scale. Here's some bedding. Here's a mattress with a skirt attached. This one is actually a Fisher Price mattress here. This is definitely a baby bed mattress. And then this is just, I don't even know, uh, some sort of mattress that somebody made. <laughs> We've got some kitchen towels, some different ones, again, different conditions. Some are really well made, some are beautifully done, some are hand done. This one is made out of felt. And then we've got these Afghan blankets here with matching pillow. And then we've got this really nice plaid bl folded blanket there, little pot holder. And then here's some more cushions here, but these are like chair cushions. And some again, handmade and some are, looks like they came from the manufacturer. So that one is more like for a long bench. We've got a small bench here. So a cushion with some ties on it. That one is the back side, the back part of a chair, and I think it probably goes to a best pack chair the way that it's sitting there. So we've got some jammies, we've got a lot of clothes, we've got a, a how to make a collar kit, we've got some little pajama bottoms. This is a mantilla kit here. 
We've got a little polka dot dress here. This actually kind of reminds me of something that might have been popular in the 30s, a pajama top. I think that these are panties. They have like a stiffener on them, so you wouldn't be able, I don't think, to put these on a doll, but they might look cute like in a lingerie store or something like that. I have a whole bunch of these glass slippers, some Cinderella slippers here, and I think I have about 10 sets. Some really cute pink Victorian shoes, one ice skate, a couple other pieces of clothes. I've got some hangers a captain's hat here, a men's folded shirt, a little toddler onesie, a couple hats, one single booty, a whole bunch of straw hats. And then this, I have a couple of these. The packaging says it's a fur cape, but honestly, to me, this looks like something that you would wrap around your toilet bowl, right? And in fact, I have a toilet over here, so we're just going to put that on there and we're going to see, see how we feel about this. See, I don't know, fur cape slash toilet bowl cozy. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so moving on, we've got some household items. I've got some dishes, this huge, enormous, like enamelware plate. I've got a little doormat that says Shalom, a little a little monkey. I've got some a computer printer and a, a thing of cards right here. This is kind of cute. Some food items, not too much food. We've got some ice cream, a grapefruit. I think these are sliced onions, a whole bunch of onion slices. And that's like something that you might put like a hot dog in or some onion rings. This is a one inch scale teapot kit for someone to make. I've got a couple of little items here. I've got a fan, a bead, a jewelry holder, a few Halloween items in this one. A box, a skull, that's an earring, some signage, a pickle sign. Back here, I've got some swords. I think those might be toothpicks originally. And then I've got a whole bunch of brass, uh, palm tree embellishments and some nautical stuff. A couple of these boat pieces here, a barometer, some shells. I've got this huge bag of metal baseball gloves and baseballs. So I'm gonna sell that whole thing just like that because I just don't have the time or the energy to put all that online. <laughs> Couple toys here. This is actually the pattern like if you wanted to make a little pillow doll. And then this is a Raggedy Ann and Andy kit to make, I think, a uh, memory board. I love this little miniature here. This is a one of those velvet backgrounds that you can buy and it comes with like four or five little markers and you can color it in. You can still get those today. Very cute. They're fun activities for the kids sitting in the back seat. You know what I mean? And then this is a vintage bingo or a vintage pin the tail on the donkey set here. A couple little old toys, a metal car, which I think was in the last lot that I had. This is cool. This is a manic manicurist lamp kit which I've never seen before but if you're working on a miniature salon or something this would actually be awesome for that then I have some more baby items this is adorable this is hand crocheted little tiny bib and hat in pink I've got uh, other accessories here's a yellow set as well blankets Another little hand impression here, like a cute little baby memorabilia, little box of baby food. So a lot of a lot of fun accessories. What else? Okay, some tiny pine cones. So this is some garden stuff. We've got a, a sundial, some pots, a pot holder, a couple more topiaries here, a little tiny baby pig, and this is a little like a duck made out of a shell. We've got a monkey and a cat. The monkey is uh interesting. I I think he should be probably climbing up a tree or something. And then I believe that these are, they're not very big, but I would say that these are like rug beaters maybe. You tell me if you know what they are. And a little basket. And then here is a tiny little ice pack. A little tiny thing of Pepto-Bismol. Bismol tablets. <laughs> All right, everybody. So that's it for this week. I appreciate you stopping in on a Wednesday and hanging out with me. And hopefully you found some amazing treasures today in this lot that you just can't live without. If you did find something that you want to purchase, you can just jump right on over to my eBay website, which is Whitney Libri Events. The link is in the description. But if you go to the homepage of my YouTube channel and you click on the little eBay icon, it will bring you right to my 
my store as well. And the items should be listed on the front page under newly listed items, or they will be found within the categories in my dollhouse shop. Thank you so much for being here. Have a great rest of your week and I'll see you next time. Bye.